If you're tired of sending boring Dropbox links to clients, then I have something for you today. As a commercial and editorial photographer, I will go out, I'll do a shoot, I'll do an edit of the images, and then I send them to the client. And typically, for the longest time, I would usually just send them a Dropbox link. But after all the time that you take fretting about your branding and about the visuals that you do as a photographer or as a creative, and you know you, you put all this thought into your website and into your invoicing and into your stuff and into your things, and then you just send this boring blue Dropbox link with a bunch of dashes and numbers in it, and that's your final delivery? Like, I was never really happy with that. So I started looking around at a bunch of different companies that do online delivery of images. I was looking for something that was gonna be easy to use for me, because I need simple and easy, so the user interface had to be really clean and simple. And I wanted something that was just a really nice aesthetic for my clients, so when they got their gallery of images, it looked really nice, the images were well presented, and it was really easy for them to download or do whatever they needed on their side. If there is a company or a service that offers this kind of thing, I tried it. Now this video is not sponsored by Shootproof. I don't directly work with them, but I do have an affiliate link. So that's kind of cool. I did reach out to Shootproof to just you know say, hey, I'm gonna do this video about your product. I love you guys. You know I love you guys. I've told you I've loved you guys before and they gave me a discount code for all of you. So if you use the discount code of Arius25, they're gonna give you 25% off your first year. That's for monthly accounts only, not the annual plan. The thing that's really cool about Shootproof is it's not just you know a gallery software or a gallery service where you can upload pictures and your clients can download them. There's so much more that can be done with Shootproof. You can do your invoicing through Shootproof. You can do email marketing through Shootproof. You can do print orders and print fulfillment through Shootproof. You can manage what kind of downloads, what size of downloads, or no downloads at all. You can capture visitors' email addresses. You can bundle items up. You can make custom packages for sale. You can deliver contracts to your clients. Your clients can sign them through Shootproof. And you can do all of this under your own branding, your own color scheme, your own logos, however you want to customize the experience that your clients get via the engine of Shootproof you can do all of that. Even though I'm not a wedding or portrait or event photographer, I have found ways to use Shootproof for my business that I get it to pay for itself. All right, so let's jump in. This is my dashboard in Shootproof. So when I log in, this is what I see, all right? Um, under here, under Studio, you can manage your contacts, your email, your contracts, your colors and logo your Shootproof homepage. Under Photos, uh, it's where you build your galleries. They also have this really cool thing where you can compile basically what's a mobile app for iOS or Android to send to your clients. They add this to their home screen, they click on it, it's got a custom icon, and it's got their pictures, it's got your contact information, you could put links to all your socials on there. It's a very nicely branded way to deliver images that your clients can then share with all their friends and family. So it's a very cool thing. Take a look at their mobile apps. Watermarks, tools, things like that. Commerce, orders, payments, pricing, invoices, and reports, and so on. Here's the gallery landing page, right? So, uh, you know, different galleries that you set up to send to clients to. Let's make a new gallery. We're gonna call this Sonic Boom. I've pulled up some images from an assignment I did for the Smithsonian Magazine. So let's say I'm delivering this to the editor. They need to be able to download all the high-res images. So I'm going to use my gallery preset that I've already made called Download Full Size. And I'm gonna hit Create Gallery. And then I'm gonna upload photos. So let me head over here to Photo Mechanic 
grab these. I can choose to put a watermark on my pictures now. That can be a simple text watermark or you can upload a graphic of your own that will watermark it. And then you can decide that when they download the images, whether that watermark stays on it or if it's downloaded without. You really have complete control of how you deliver pictures via shoot proof. So I'm gonna say no watermark. And we're gonna do one without an album. We're just gonna make a gallery of images and send them up. Here we go, start upload. Do, 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 do. I loved this assignment, by the way. It, it was just a dream assignment. I got to spend three days with the Jackson State University marching band called Sonic Boom of the South. It was unbelievable. I had full access. I was on the field during game time. It was their homecoming game. Like I could do, go anywhere I wanted, rode with them on the bus. It was freaking awesome. Okay, anyways, uh, my pictures are uploaded. Let's go into gallery settings here. You can uh, you know, put your shoot date in there if you have a due date for orders. Let's say you shoot sports pictures or let's say you shoot portraits at schools or at an event and they have 30 days to make their order. You can put all of that in here and you can also expire the gallery. So in 30 days, 60 days, if nothing's happened, it can go into the archive or it can be deleted, however you wanna do that. One thing I really love about ShootProof is that I can do all of this under my own domain. So what that means is, is you're not sending your pictures out with a link that's shootproof.com slash username slash 103876B54. You can set up your domain to be studio.yourname.com slash job name slash client name. Whatever you wanna do, you can do that with ShootProof. So that keeps all of the branding within your box. I really, really, really like that. So we're gonna call this uh, JSU. Now I applied a preset, so I have already chosen what I like and most things and stuff and blah, 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 blah. That's already kind of chosen here. I like the limelight. You can go in and change the, the way that the gallery looks. So I'm doing the limelight. You can do a cascade or a subway. You can change your, your image size, your image spacing. You can add an intro message to your gallery. So once they open up into it, you can say like, this gallery will expire in 30 days. Or, hey, Brian and Jane, thank you so much. I really enjoyed working with you. Please enjoy your gallery. Whatever, it'll just be a little pop-up message that your clients will see. You could do a marketing banner that goes up across the top, say, hey, use this code for 10% off your prints or whatever. Show file names, you can turn that on or off if you'd like. You can allow social sharing and you can add your own little something something to that. Hey, photographer Zach Arias just photographed the blah, blah, blah. And you can share it to Facebook or Twitter or whatever. That's kind of cool. I kind of dig that. Allow black and white filtering. It's not something I usually do. And then homepage link. The homepage link I just have set up to take them right to my website, backtozacharias.com. You have different ways of locking down that gallery. You can make it public. So anyone that has your shoot proof homepage will see it. You can make your gallery private. So only people who have the link can see it. You can password protect it. You can require visitors to enter an email and you can capture those emails and see those emails in the back end of ShootProof. So let's say you're doing an event and you send out a link to the event coordinator and the event coordinator sends it to everyone who was at the event. They wanna see the pictures. They pop in their email address to get access to it. You can take that email address and then blast everyone with a print sale, with um, you know whatever. Just, hey, thank you for having me at your event. I really enjoyed being with all of you. I hope you've enjoyed the pictures. Could be something as simple as that, or it could be a sales pitch, however you wanna do it. Okay, so the downloading of digitals. All right, so as a commercial editorial shooter, this part right here is one way that I get ShootProof to pay for itself. All right, so check this out. So you can create a rule. Let's get rid of this one. Delete, delete rule, boom. All right, I'm gonna create a rule. And I can create a rule 
for all visitors to the gallery. I can create a rule to visitors of a specific album in the gallery, or I can create a rule for one specific person. Let's say I did a magazine assignment. I photographed a person for a magazine. The editor at the magazine needs to download the full resolution. But once that has gone to print and whatever embargo has passed, I could then license those pictures back to the subject for X amount of money. So what I can do is I can send a link to the gallery to the editor and have their email address locked in. And so they can download the full resolution images. But then no more downloads for the pictures. I then send a link to the subject. The subject goes to the gallery, takes a look at the pictures, but they can't download them. If they want to download them, then they can contact me. We can negotiate a price for licensing. And then I can come back in, open it back up, and allow them to download full resolution. I don't have to make two galleries. I don't have to send one gallery to the editor and then send another gallery to the subject and they have different rules. I can set that all up inside of one gallery and I can control the size. Like you can download these at 1000 pixel wide only, or you can download them 1500 pixels wide, but with my watermark, or you can download them full resolution with my watermark, or you can download them not at all, whatever. Like I have full control of it in the back end of the gallery and it's really easy to do. So back in to the gallery here, I've gone in, I've tweaked my settings where I need it to be. If I want, I can add a contact like the editor's name or anyone tied to the job. I can add their emails in. So as soon as I'm ready to publish, they automatically get an email with a link to the gallery. If I've password protected it, they get the password to it and also, you can include a print release with your pictures. So if you're just doing this for say, you know, family photos or something like that, they're gonna print it, put it on a thumb drive. A lot of places will not print them if they look too professional, right? So hopefully you did such a good job that the local Costco isn't gonna print your pictures. They get this little email and says, here is your print release. They click on that, they get the print release, they can take it into the Costco or the Wally World or the whatever and get their pictures printed. Shoot Proof has thought through it all. I really haven't found anything where I like, oh, I wish they would do this. Let's go back here to the gallery. So uh, you can sort your files however you want. I usually do it by file name. We're not doing any albums or anything like that. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. So uh, let's set our gallery cover. Let's see, what's gonna be a good, I'm gonna set this as my gallery cover, boom and you set your focal point. It's gonna be kinda, of, let's say, up here close to him. Save cover, all right. And so that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and preview this gallery. My internet's running slow these days. I think everyone's internet is running slow. All right, Sonic Boom, there it is. Open gallery, there's my little logo. doop a doop a doop Yeah, and here's the gallery. All right, so the client likes the pictures. They can click on a picture. They can click on it again for a full screen. They can arrow key through, all right? And click on it again. They can download one picture or they can go back to the gallery and download all of the pictures because that is the rule that I set. Now let's say that you can only download for one specific email address. If I put in an email address that's not that email address, they're not gonna be able to download the pictures. So it's protected. So I hit download all, I put in my email address. All right, download all, email is gonna be sent. All right, back to the gallery. And then when I get that email, I can click a link. It'll download the pictures for me. It's super simple for me to use. It's super simple for my clients to use. So let me show you how I get shoot proof to just absolutely pay for itself every single month. This is a sample gallery that I've set up just for the purpose of this video. This is a client of mine, but this is not the client I'm specifically talking about. So I have a few clients that I do regular work for, and I am their digital asset manager. 
their damn, I'm their damn photographer. So I shoot a lot of pictures. It might be 100 pictures one day. It might be 500 pictures another day. And I keep all of their pictures filed how they want them to be filed. Sometimes it's by shoot. Sometimes it's by quarter. Sometimes it's by product line. And I take care of all of that management for them via shoot proof. So let's say you got a client like this that you deal with on a regular basis. All right, so we have, we have client A. All right, and we're gonna create a gallery. All right, and let's just go to that gallery. Now, we're not gonna add any pictures to this gallery. What we're going to do is add an album. So we're gonna do uh, fall 2020, all right? And you can, oh yeah, you can set this up as a vendor album. So all you wedding photographers out there, if you shoot a wedding and you do an album for getting ready pictures, an album for the ceremony, an album for the reception, an album for the portraits, you can also set up a vendor album. And that album is kind of off to the side that your clients don't have to see. And you can just send a direct link to the other vendors at the wedding. I'm gonna hit fall 2020, all right? Let's add another one. Then we're gonna do spring 2020. All right, we'll add summer 2020 and add winter 2020. So you have your different albums set up. You can then start dropping photos into those albums as needed. Here are the fall 2020 photos I took for the client. Boom, here are this, boom, here's all this, boom, here's all that, okay? That's done. What that ends up looking like, let's go to this sample Nina gallery. We're gonna hit preview gallery. So it's gonna look like a normal gallery that I've been showing you, right? It's gonna you know, pop up a nice picture. It's gonna say Nina Paper, open gallery. And then you'll see the different albums. And you can hide this all photos. If you don't want the all photos in the gallery view, you can turn that off. So it could just be fall 2020, spring 2020, summer 2020, blah, 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 blah whatever. I can keep just photos of boxes in one gallery. I can keep photos of just details of their papers in another gallery. On the client side, they have access to all of their high resolution photography that I've taken. It's organized for them. It's available to download. They can share the links within the company. They can share the links with their vendors as needed. And Guess what? When I handle the digital asset management like this for a client, I charge them for it. I pay a monthly fee to shoot proof, but I charge clients a monthly fee for handling their digital assets via shoot proof. And it all looks like it's coming from zacharias.com, like I'm the engine running it all when actually it's shoot proof. So if you have reoccurring clients, you can offer them an extra service. There are times that clients will say, hey, we have this other group of images. Can you add that to this? Absolutely. They pay a monthly fee for server space, basically. They pay a monthly fee for me to manage all of it and keep it arranged and keep it organized. And then if they need a change to it that is something that's not in my daily shooting rate for them, then I charge them another fee on top of that. You may look at shoot proof and go, well, that's wedding and portrait and event based. I'm commercial, I'm editorial, I'm this based. You can use shoot proof definitely and you can get your clients to pay the bill. I wanna show you guys a couple of things that they do that I don't use, but I'm sitting here trying to figure out how could I use them. So let's create a price sheet, all right? Let's say you do print sales. Shootproof has relationships with a bunch of labs here in North America, in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, all over the place. Let's say, you know, you already use White House Custom Color, all right? Watch this. I'm gonna choose White House Custom Color. I'm gonna hit Next, and I'm gonna call this Test Price Sheet, and I'm gonna hit Create Price Sheet. This is cool. What's awesome is Shootproof like makes this price sheet and it already has the lab cost in it. And then you can set your price, whatever you want, for that item. 
and you can do prints, fine art prints, and digitals. You can go in and set prices for the digital download. If you're into print sales, but you also offer digitals, but you charge for them, you can handle all of that through Shootproof and Shootproof doesn't take a commission for any of this. You just pay your monthly or yearly fee for Shootproof and that's it. You can create a package. So if you want to do like wallets and two five by sevens and eight by 10, you can make a package and sell the package. You can add a digital to it. You can do it for one pose. You can do it for multiple poses. Like seriously, it's just, they have it all figured out in the back end for print sales and all of that. You can create an invoice. You can go in and customize it. You can figure out how you want to accept payments, all of that, that can all be handled inside of Shootproof. You can handle all of your contracts. So you can either put your own contract that you're already using into Shootproof. It will send it off to the client. They can electronically sign it, send it back to you. Or this is kind of cool. You can visit the marketplace here. If you have like, no idea how to start with contracts or where to get going with it. You can purchase bundles and licensing and agreements and contracts from inside Shootproof. So like here's a wedding contract and it has non-refundable retainer, a payment schedule, late fees, exclusive photographer clause, failure to perform, travel and overture fees, indemnification, and other legal miscellany. It's got all the legal miscellany you could possibly want. So you can just come in here, 118 bucks, purchase a contract. Instead of just staring at a blank screen, like if you don't have a contract, you don't know where to start with a contract, trust me, 118 bucks for like a pre-made contract by a lawyer. I wish I would have had that when I was getting started in contracts and licensing and all of that instead of 118 bucks. That's cheap. Buy it. Don't even think about it. Like I said, if there's a service out there that offers nice delivery of images to clients, I've tried it. I paid the monthly fee. I worked through it. I used it, kicked the tires, uploaded pictures, sent them to clients, they downloaded pictures. But when it came down to it at the end of the day, Shootproof had the easiest interface for me to use, the nicest looking and easiest interface for my clients to use. And I know that there is so much underneath the hood that anytime I need to jump in there and say, you know what, I'm gonna start using Shootproof for my email marketing. I'm gonna start using Shootproof to deliver invoices. Like it's all in there ready to roll. I really like how I can archive galleries out of my monthly payment bundle. But if I ever have to go back in and pull it back up, I just go into my archive and I can make it active again. I love that I can set very, very specific rules to the download of images. I love that I can offer reoccurring clients digital asset management and knock on wood, the years that I have been using Shootproof, I've never had a glitch. I've never had a problem. I've never had to contact their customer service and say, a gallery's not working or pictures have disappeared or my you know whole service has gone down. Where is, where is everything? I've never once had a glitch. That's shoot proof. There is far more under this hood that you wanna get into. You can change the colors. You can upload your own graphics. You can really kind of tweak things how you want it so that it really just matches up with your brand the way that you want it. You can offer all sorts of things as add-ons to your clients that will help pay for the service. So I use the $30 a month bundle. That gives me 25,000 photos and I currently have active 3,401 photos. I don't even touch that 25,000 yet. I think the most I've ever been is at a busy period, I've been up to about 10,000 photos uh, in there. And then I, they click back into the archive and then, you know, that clears up space for my 25,000. Seriously, if you're tired of sending Dropbox links, check out Shoeproof. Check out Shoeproof. So if you sign up for the monthly account, you can get 25% off for the first year using Arius 25. Go down below, hit my affiliate link, sign up for it, get that discount, 
deliver your photographs in style like Carl does. Go downstairs in the comments if you have questions, if you want to follow up on something, if I completely breezed over something that you saw and you're like, wait, 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 what was that? Please let me know in the comments if I need to do a follow-up. I can do that in the next Stuff and Things or I can do a, a follow-up part two to this. But that gives you an overview and that gives you like how I deal with it. All right, all right, so go check out Shoeproof. Use my link, please, and plug in that code and get yourself a 25% discount. That ain't too bad for watching a video online. You get 25% off. Not too bad at all. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and comment. Please comment below. Is that it, Carl? I know I forgot about 8 million things, probably. That's probably fine. Okay, stop. Oh, 30 minutes. That's only part two.